Hello friends, I'm Um and today we're diving in the fantastic world of Google's Chrome OS. And here I have installed the proper original version of Google Chrome OS on my PC, my Windows PC. And yes, it took a lot of time and hassle, but less than the time you would spend installing Arch. So yeah, it was pretty nice. And today I'm gonna show it to you. And I must say, this is the operating system I was searching for. And this is the operating system I'll daily drive and use on my day-to-day -day life, except when I have to do video editing. But besides video editing, I'll do all my stuff on Google's Chrome OS. So yeah, let's get started and let me show you why I choose Chrome OS. So yeah, let's get started, shall we? Well, as you can see, the first thing, the desktop, it's pretty amazing. And then you get the support of Android applications along with Linux applications. You can set up Linux and install whatever you want like Debian, Arch, whatever. And along with that, we have Google's complete Chrome OS, which in my opinion is pretty nice. You see that? It, it indeed is pretty nice. Let me just show it to you. You see that? It's actually beautiful and the material you design is so gorgeous. And not to forget the Google's Play Store. You see that? And all the applications are working pretty amazing and they're, all the applications are amazingly optimized for Chrome OS. Like really, you see, I tried Bliss OS along with that and it is working better than Bliss OS. I have my WhatsApp going on, right? And then I have the mobile version of YouTube Studio, which I find pretty nice. And yeah, don't forget to subscribe. <laughs> and look at that, it is pretty nice, isn't it? And along with that, I have all the other applications like the Discord, the Android version of Discord, which works pretty great. And then I have Canva, which works pretty nice. If we, you know, we all know Canva, the amazing quick photo editor with a lot of AI capabilities. Then we have Android video editors. And as you can see, the video editor is working pretty fine. And we have all the amazing things of VN video editor, especially the hue, saturation and lightness. You see that? That's beautiful. Pretty nice and pretty powerful, I'll say. Let's see. You know, even in Bliss OS and a lot of other Android operating systems, the export option was never the great thing. Well, and yes, it supports up to 4K, 60 FPS. That's amazing. Let's export it and see. And it is exporting, which shows that how well Android is optimized for Chrome OS. Well, let me just cancel it because I'm not going to create a video about it. And besides that, I wanted to show you the optimization. Like really, the overall desktop is so well optimized with Android applications and even Linux applications at some level. It's just I've not set it up yet and I don't want to set up Linux in this thing because, you know, why would I need Linux applications when I have the whole Google Play Store, which has the largest library of applications and most of my applications are available here. Whether you talk about video editing, photo editing, well, I'm not gonna do video editing on Chrome OS because I have the Wings Resolve on my Windows, which is in dual boot. But besides that, I have my photo editing on Canva, which works pretty well. And then I am all my essentials like WhatsApp, YouTube Studio and a full-fledged Chrome browser which works pretty nice. And not to forget the security of Google. You see everything is indeed pretty amazing. And recently they added gaming support on Chrome OS, the Android one. You see these all applications have keyboard support which means you can now play games like these at ease with Google Chrome OS with keyboard and mouse. That's amazing. And then they have a lot of other applications which are particularly optimized just for this thing. Let's see if I have Google Photos because, you know, I actually love the AI features of Google Photos. Let me just update it. And overall, everything is working pretty nice. You see, the Google apps are working pretty nice. Play Store is working pretty nice. All the Android applications are working pretty great. And then we have specific Chrome OS. Like you see overall the screen which is recording right now. It is also part of Google's Chrome OS and it's pretty nice. Yep indeed. And then if you were to talk about other things, 
Then we have app games and applications. Let me show you this one. Look at the FPS. I was never able to achieve this much of FPS on it. And it's working pretty nice. All right, now it's a lot better. You see the graphics and all. You see, this is a pretty old. Like really, this is a very old game. But still, I like it. It's arcade and it's a little. What do you call it? Theatrical. Alright, I'm gonna die. Well, let's leave that. And you know, I wanted to show you another thing. You see, there's another game which is pretty famous for web browsers and it works pretty greatly. With a, with like really, it is like a light version of CSGO for browser which works on any device. Let me show you. Let me first fix a lot of other things. Let me enable FPS because I want to show you the FPS, the main thing. Let me just turn on all the graphic settings and max it out. And yeah, just to be sure, I'm not using any dedicated GPU because Chrome OS doesn't support any. So it's using the integrated GPU. And look at that, look at the FPS. My God, look at the FPS. 134 FPS right now. That's amazing. Oh, let me just fix a few key maps because I'm using the touchpad of, you know, laptop. There we go. That's the thing I wanted to show you, the performance of Chrome OS. It is so lightweight and amazing. Now let's go. All right, we are already defeated. My God, he's on a flying carpet, just like Aladdin. Well, I believe you've guessed it now. The amazing performance of Chrome OS. Now, you might see a few lag on the screen recording because, you know, Chrome OS has a problem with screen recording. You know, the original, the integrated screen recording feature. But if I've just used another screen recorder from Google Play Store, like this, I remember there's, there's an app particularly made for Chromebooks. You see this one, screen record edit for Chromebook, screen path. Okay, maybe I should install this one and then show you. Well, I'll do that in the next video. You see, the thing I wanted to show you is this. They have an HDR feature which needs a little downloading. And besides that, this pop feature, it makes it so amazing. Just look at that. That's the thing I love about Google applications. They work so well and it is looking so gorgeous. This is gonna be my thumbnail. And then we have sharpening and then they have something to increase the blue tone. It looks so gorgeous, doesn't it? It was looking like this. Now it looks like this. It is so gorgeous, so 3D. And then the HDR feature is yet being downloaded here. And after that, it'll be a lot better than that. Like really. You see, I'm so fascinated about Google's Chrome OS. And especially, I really wanted to buy a Chromebook, but you know, I had to do video editing and all that kind of stuff. But wait, we can do video editing on a proper level on Chromebooks. You see, there's an amazing application, a video editor, which is literally God on mobile phones. It's Luma Fusion, I believe. And it works on every device, even on Chrome OS. Look at that. It's a proper professional level video editing. Like really, they have world feature too nice they have all sort of things also all sort of features you can think of and yes it is you know I, right it is paid but the thing is 
it is actually a lot cheaper than all the other video editors out there for Windows. 2500 it will be like $30 and it is a one-time payment. That's a lot better than as compared to what we get in Adobe and DaVinci. Well, DaVinci is also $300, almost 10 times of it. And then we have others like Lightworks with, you know, 10 euros or something. But all in all, I believe this is a lot better. And yeah, there's another thing I wanted to show you. The Google's Assistant. Let me show you. Hey Google. Alright, microphone is being used so I cannot use the microphone. Well, go to the Assistant. There it is. Right, we can set it up. Let me show you. And the settings app is so amazing. Like, it is like the stock Android of PCs. The best operating system for a person who don't have to play games or do video editing. If a person who doesn't want to do video editing, coding, development and just want to use a device for their day-to-day -day life just like I'm doing right now, then Google Chrome OS is the best. And if you want to buy a new device in which you don't have to do all that professional level stuff, you just have to do some office work, play some games, watch some multimedia, do some lectures, coding, a little coding, for you, Chromebooks are the way to go. Let me show you. There it is, Google's Assistant. And let me just turn it to always on. Let's try again. Hey Google, how's the weather? It's 30 degrees and mostly cloudy. Today, there will be thunderstorms with a forecasted high of 30 and a low of 25. Due to the current humidity, it feels like it's 37. Hey Google, tell me what's going on in the news these days. Not too much. How's your day going? Well, I'm a little exhausted. I bet you've been working hard. I have some soothing nature sounds if you need to relax. Well then why not? It's rock and roll if you want to wake up. Hey Google, why not? Play some. Can you try saying that again in a different way? I don't understand. Well, play. Sorry, I still don't understand. You can send feedback if you want. Alright, I forgot. It's using the United States English while my English accent is a little British. Or United Kingdom, the one which works on India. Well, let's start again. Okay, Google, play some soothing sounds on YouTube. There it is. But then, ads. Well, then let's see what else we can do. Like really, this is. The Google Assistant, in my opinion, is actually better than Cortana, Copilot. Well, not Copilot. For me, it's better than all of the AIs right now. Instead of AI generators. Alright, talking about AI generators, we have Google Photos here. Let's see. Creations new creation and animation we have a hell lot of things to do here and there but the internet isn't quite well in my area besides that this operating system is pretty nice well that's it for today i hope you enjoyed the video and if you do then subscribe for day dos of awesome content uploaded on this channel and i'll be next to you till then i'm home, signing out